joined by Milad Jukka, a political analyst, analyst uh, specialising in the Middle East uh, and Iran. Now, uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this uh, evening, uh, Milad Jukka. Uh, the pair have been enemies for over three decades, the US and Iran, uh, Washington and Tehran. How unthinkable really is cooperation between the two uh, over the Islamic State uh, organisation? Are we seeing a window of opportunity here that's being seized by both sides? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, uh, because there are common interests but it is very difficult for the United States to admit that uh, we are going to work with Iran. And it is very difficult for Iran to say and admit publicly that we are going to work with the United States because of the toxicity that exists between the two countries. However, we must remember that in the past it happened. Cooperation uh, in Afghanistan between Iran and the United States right after 9-11 Unfortunately, George Bush uh, said a few weeks after that Iran was part of the axis of evil, and that ended the cooperation and the trust. It also happened in 2008 in uh, Iraq with the same commander, Soleimani, who is seen in Iran as, as a hero because he's a defender of the nation. So both sides want to defend interest, but so far politically it is difficult to admit it openly. OK. Uh, given uh, we've seen a lot of Iranian military activity on the ground, aiding really Iraqi forces against the uh, Islamic uh, State organization, perhaps this does come as a little surprise. But also given some of the pictures that we're seeing, the pretty old aircraft are likely to have been used. How effective do you think really uh, these Iranian airstrikes can be? Well, first of all, I wouldn't say this is a surprise because the Iranian military uh, security forces and the, the Iranian intelligence is experienced in Iraq, and they have the knowledge on the ground. They know what happens because they fought eight years the, the, the war uh, against Iraq. Uh, how effective these airstrikes could be? They could be uh, effective enough to stop the momentum uh, in, uh, of Daesh, that is at the border uh, of uh, Iran. Uh, then, of course, coordination could be needed because Daesh is not just at the border uh, of Iraq, it's much, uh, the, the white, the spread is much more important than that. Milad Joka, thank you very much uh, for that analysis. Thank you very much for having me. Moving now to Somalia, where a UN convoy came under attack in the capital on Wednesday. Four Somalis were killed.